In this video, I'll show you how to use GarageBand built in Cycle Region to record multiple takes of a recording. What do I mean by takes? Well, say for example you're going to record a vocal for your project's verse, say, or in this instance, a guitar melody for an instrumental part. Chances are you're going to want to take a couple of runs at it and not just use the first recording or take that you lay down. Instead of having to manually stop recording afterwards and move the playhead back to the place you want your recording to start, we'll use the Psycho region to have GarageBand do this automatically. First things first then, you want to click on the grey area above the first four bars of your project and you'll see it turn yellow. Your Psycho region is now active. When you hit play, the playhead will now move from the start to the end of your cycle region, then jump back to the start automatically. You can increase the length of the cycle region to fit the area you want to record by clicking on the edges and dragging it to size. You can also click on and drag your cycle region into another position along the ruler. Quick tip here, I'd recommend giving yourself a bit of extra room at either end of your cycle region so you get a little bit more time to prepare before each take is recorded. So now you have your cycle region set up, you can just hit record and start playing. As the playhead reaches the end of your cycle region, it will jump back to the start while continuing to record, which allows you to capture as many takes as you need for a particular section. Once you're done, hit stop, and you'll see a small number in the top left corner of the region you've just recorded. This is the number of takes that you just recorded. Click on that number to see a menu pop up from which you can select whichever of your recorded takes you want to use. You can even mix different parts of the takes you've recorded together to create a composite take. Select your region, then move the playhead to the point where you want one take to end and the other to begin. Then use the split command, the shortcut for that is command and T on your typing keyboard. You can now choose a different take to come in at the point where you've split your region. You can see that because there's now a number in the top left hand corner of the region just after where you split it. Professional audio engineers use this method all the time to effectively splice together the best parts from a number of takes to create the best possible end result. Different take, right? So this is all one take. And then... Different take. Different take. Different take. And you would never know! Let me know your thoughts on recording multiple takes in GarageBand and splicing them together down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap on the way past. I really appreciate it. If you're still having trouble getting set up to record in GarageBand for Mac, watch this next. <laughs>